I thought I'd stop it there just to introduce the two players we have this week. It's Tom Workman and Jake Phillips. Tom I've played with for many years uh, and they're both off plus two. Um, Tom is um, it's a wicked player, great short game, good putter, uh, predominantly a fader of the ball, um, but really, really solid player. You can always count on him to shoot a low score. And Jake I've known for a couple of years. He is off plus two and he won the Ross Scratch Cup um, two years ago. Uh, with a really serious score, so um, he's gone from strength to strength. Both really nice guys, which you'll meet at the end. We've got a course vlog to start off with. I've shown some of the shots, but if you're interested, the scores are going to be in the bottom left-hand side. And after the holes that we shot, um, there's the scorecard. So you can have a little look at that and um, see what scores we did on the day. I kind of prefer it that way, rather than doing a 30, 35, 40-minute vlog. I don't know what you think, you can write the comment below if you'd rather see every shot and what we think about every shot. Uh, we can do that on some of the vlogs, but uh, for now we've got um, the, the quick challenge match followed by uh, an interview to try and find out what those guys think and um, whether they're happy golfers or not. Anyway, enjoy the rest of it, I'll send you back now. Squares are just the squares. Here are the boys, Tom Workman, Jake, the man over there. Should we go going through this way? See if we can... Yeah, see if we can put there. Right. Jake Phillips, Tom Workman. These are the boys. These are the boys. Tom off plus two. Jake off plus. Two. <laughs> just nice consistent <laughs> stuff there. Uh, we've been playing at Ross on Way today, Golf Club. They're preparing for the um, Ross Scratch Cup, which is in two weeks. Although Jake has got a stag do to go to, so he's not in it. I have. But you have won it before, haven't you? I have. And what was your scores? Uh, I shot minus one, minus seven. My, sorry? Minus how many? <laughs> seven. <laughs> minus one, minus seven. <laughs> That's pretty good going. And uh, Tom, you've won it before, haven't you? I've won it three times, oh, I think. Go on then. Anyway, so uh, these guys, been, we've been playing today and. Um, trying to ask them some of the questions that we've been thinking about and I was going to say the first thing I'm going to say is to Tom and that is because um, I know Tom's not a big practitioner are you you're not so nah. much into sort of technical swing and blah 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 although you've always had a pretty naturally good golf swing because yeah. I used to play with Tom when he was about 13 originally and uh, same swing yeah, same swing right <laughs> and um, so you just play for, like just for the competitiveness yeah I enjoy the competitiveness and it's not so much hitting balls that does your... No, I don't feel that I can get anything out from that. It's just playing on the golf course, I feel more practice. And so, benefit. And so do you prefer like competition play or do you, do you like... Just yeah, I find it hard to play friendly on competitive. Just because I've beaten him, that's, yeah. all. that's all it is. <laughs> <laughs> um, but he... 
You've played all, all around. You've played in lots of major events. Yeah. Lots of tournaments all over the place. Yeah. Had wins all over the place, haven't you? Yeah. How many of those rounds do you think you've actually enjoyed? Once you've come back uh, in, you know. Uh, not many. I wouldn't. It's quite hard to enjoy. I'd say it's very mentally draining. But where do we do um, it? You know, why do you do it? Why do you like doing it? I know you're good at it, which is good, right? Uh, yeah, I think you can always improve. There's always room for improvement. It's just a battle, um, isn't it? Yeah, and you can always feel that like you can go one better next time. So you come but back the, and try again. But then sometimes you're five worse. And how does that feel? Yeah, you go back to a drawing board and try and carry on and keep going. Carry on, yeah. What's your favourite? What's the like your favourite memory you've ever had on the golf course that you can remember? It could be a win. It could be anything. Mm. County Champs win at Stinchcombe. Right, home track home at track. the time. Absolute brutal blow in 30, 40 miles an hour. Nine over score won it, and don't think there'll be a higher score that'll ever win. So you still played solid that day? Very solid. It was just brutal. Got to control your ball flight. Yeah. I played that year, I was surprised at how low the scores actually were, considering how heavily the yeah. wind was blowing. Yeah, it was hard work. And that's your favourite memory out of everything, yeah. pretty much. Jake, on to you now, big boy. <laughs> <laughs> so you played, you originally started playing, um, obviously since a junior, mm -hmm. but then you worked on to, did you go to college? Went, went to golf? college, uh, did a golf or national diploma something, wasted two years, should have done something else. But it was good fun. Remember that. <laughs> it was good uh, fun. Uh, why was that wasted, do you think? Um, there was too many free periods spent with my feet up, uh, not practicing or doing anything right. productive whatsoever. Yeah. Um, in a golf sense or yeah, something. Yeah, completely. Um, but you must have got to a high level. We obviously have now, but would you say all that play time was good for you or not? <laughs> no, it could have been productive and effective practice. Uh, it should have been, you know, any free period, go and practice, go and hit balls, go and do short game, go and do some putting. It wasn't anything like that. It was just get some food, put your feet up, and who's got an Xbox? Oh, sh uh, really? So, uh, it so was a bit of a waste of time. Uh, the kind of tutors, not do they not help out with that? Um, free they, period, they're doing their own thing as well. Oh, they yeah. do whatever they want to do. do. Whatever they want to do. And so, what are you into? I mean, are you a technical guy? Do you like it? Not you know, at all. No? Um, as never as have been, or? Uh, no, never have been. As no. long as I'm swinging with a bit of rhythm. That's the key for me. Um, if I lose my rhythm, I'm hitting it all over the place. If I've got a bit of rhythm, I'm hitting it okay generally. Right. So, um, and do you find the short game, rhythm. your short game saves you on the range? Short you, game, you know? if I didn't have a short game, I'd play off about 12, <laughs> uh, at least. Um, so yeah, short game of putting. Don't listen to Heavily me. relied on. Yeah, really. Yeah. Well, I, I guess that is in all sense the word though, isn't it? I yeah. mean, nobody, you know, when you've got tour pros hitting an average of 13 greens around, yeah. I mean, they're not going to break par unless they've got an incredible short exactly. game. Exactly, no, it is the saviour yeah Definitely. of course it is right and putting you know lots of three four five footers yeah crucial to keep Essential. the rain going right definitely uh what's your favorite experience moment it can be anything you know um it was actually cliche when i won here oh yeah was it the seven under it was i i hold a five iron uh from a couple of hundred yards on the eighth uh, for eagle which is quite nice well that's interesting because it's not late on you've got to think about that five iron it you know right. it's not yeah. like you know holding on the last to win but no, it, was, it was decent yeah yeah you've got to keep it going after you know because mm. you would probably be what yeah six or six under by then uh, or something no, I, I finished oh, what was i i was yeah i was five under three seven seven under through eight yeah yeah and it's a good field it's always a good, good field here as well always good players win it um, and tom wins it as well <laughs> most years more often than not um, guys it was a great game good fun today uh, we've got some swings we've got some good uh, bits and pieces we had a bit of fun out there what to do a few challenges but we didn't really have time the, the competition got heat heated you see <laughs> that was a trouble <laughs> we were going to go out all relaxed but it never works that way does it no I mean no. everybody's just trying to win Too still competitive. Trying to win. <laughs> yeah. uh, but thanks for the day guys and thanks for uh, helping out with the vlog and uh, hopefully we'll see you soon So I thought that was interesting. Hopefully you enjoyed that. It was um, certainly good fun out there. The, the golf course was great. We've got to thank Ross and Wye for inviting us up there to do the vlog. And um, uh, my special thanks to uh, Tom and Jake for coming along to uh, play the challenge match. And um, let me pick their brains a bit about what makes them happy. But it was interesting, wasn't it, to find that it was basically a win that makes them happy. So maybe the elite players, that is what it is. It's just all about that win. Maybe all the rest of it is irrelevant. But, but we'll see. If I interview enough people, I'm going to do across the board. So we'll, we'll see what a 25 handicapper might think or what makes them happy. Um, 
they, they may never have won before. So surely that's they wouldn't even know if that was their happiest memory. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, next week's vlog, we've got Tom Motley, who is an elite coach, and he's going to talk to us about how his elite players think um, and and his uh, sort of more amateur average players thinking and what he tries to uh, install into them to help them through their rounds, etc. Um, so that'd be interesting. That's the next one. Uh, if you're enjoying the series so far, uh, please like and subscribe, which would be really cool. Um, so you get the next ones when they come. And uh, post a comment down below if you want me to come and play at your course, maybe with the grumpiest player of your of your golf club, or even the happiest player. We'll, we'll see. Um, but either way, it'd be nice to hear from you, and um, I'll see you in the next one.